guys, welcome back to my channel. It's my name, Tracy Wanzi. I know I look very decked out today. Just for the question of the bed. So, today I'm in my bathroom. I did not want to film this because it's awkward. I also knew I'm going to have to be partially naked and this I'm in my swimsuit. And there's a whole lot of awkwardness, but I don't want to just dwell on those. I want to dwell on the fact that I'm getting this video out finally. So let's just write in the video. So today I'm going to be washing my braids. My hair was in braids. I got these not laser braids done. Ugh, it's not yet a month. It's like three weeks since I'm quiet. Yes, so I got these done for a couple of three weeks now and they are due for a wash. So I'm going to do that and try to be as PG-13 as possible because, you know, <laughs> Anyway, so first things first, I'm going to pre pull my hair. So for pre pulling, I'm going to be using coconut milk. I wish I could say that I'm using the coconut milk because of, you know, some amazing benefits and all that, which is partially true, but it's mainly because I have some coconuts. My neighbor has coconuts at his house and he gave me some. And after I blend the juice, it was not the flesh, I just blended it. And no, I'm not going to do a tutorial because that's a whole lot of stress. All you have to do take the meat out, blend it, and then seal it, and you have coconut milk. So I'm going to be pouring that all over my hair, saturate it for a couple of minutes, and then we're going to shampoo our hair, deep condition, and then leave it to kind of air dry, then we go on with the rest of our thing. So yeah, that's why I'm using this. So if you see this, this is not my this is coconut milk. Okay, so the shampoo I'm going to be using is not... It's not sponsored, it's not anything special. It's about to finish, that's how I wanted to use it. <laughs> it's the VO5 Modernizing Shampoo. I've, you've seen this in any of one of my, I think my watch day routine or something. Yeah, it was featuring inside. And as usual, I'm going to be using my trusted ORS Deep Conditioner. Let's get to it. So, in order to do this, I'm going to have to saturate my hair. I said I'm going to saturate my hair with the coconut milk. I don't want it to get into my eyes. I really hope it doesn't. So I'm gonna just throw my hair back and then have it kind of run into it. I'm really getting into the scalp because that's where the benefits are supposed to go. It's so awkward. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes, like 30 minutes I think. So I'm going to wash out the coconut water and the coconut milk from my hair and then go ahead with my shampoo. So, when you're shampooing, you're supposed to just shampoo your scalp, not your entire hair. So, I'm, I've put an amount in my hair. I'm going to use my fingertips to apply that to my scalp. Different portions of my scalp.
Okay, so I'm going to be using my trusted olive oil to deep condition my hair. <laughs> I once was asked this question that how many bottles of conditioner do I use a month? And I can literally use a whole bottle in a wash day. I know I use a lot, but I don't feel like I should compromise on the health of my hair. Especially since I've seen like good results with what I've been doing so far, I don't see why I should skimp out on you know using enough products. Even though products do not grow your hair, they are still an essential part of the journey. So I don't like to skimp out on products at all. So while this is my hair is kind of absorbing the conditioner. I'm going to take a really quick shower, then I'm going to come back and then rinse everything out. By the time I come back, I'll rinse out the conditioner for my hair because as I'm showering, after I'm done showering, right after I'm going to rinse out the conditioner for my hair, then I can continue with the rest of the video. Okay. And washing my hair. So I rinsed out the conditioner for my hair. I'm going to, it's still wet very heavy still dripping wet so I'm going to wait for it to finish drying as you can see there's a lot of water still on it what's this yeah but there's water all over and then it's still dripping wet so I'm just gonna leave it to air dry and then when it's like I think around 80% to 90% dry I'm gonna apply some leave-in conditioner I'm show you. leave in which is the African Pride Moisture Miracle Leave-In Cream. I don't know if it's even focused in there. I'm going to be using this. I'll rub it like in my hands as though it was a pain. Let me just demonstrate so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to have it in my hand like this. Rub it. I'm just gonna do a couple of strands. So, so my picture is strand and then you know put it in this way until it's completely absorbed by that particular braid. I'm not adding enough because of the water. I don't want it to you know leach out with the water that is still dripping from the braid. See it's completely absorbed in the braid. So I'm gonna wait for it to be 80% dry before I do that or else. See there's still water coming out. It is going to reach out and that's not what I want then I'm going to seal in the moisture with my DIY hair root oil so yeah this is my it's a settle that's why it's looking like a different color. yeah I'm going to put that all over again let me demonstrate have some here in my hand then go over the braid again to you know lock in the moisture and also oil my scalp with the DIY hair growth oil so let me come close so you guys can see how my scalp is looking after the wash <laughs> okay, I don't want to keep splashing the water everywhere, so I'm going to wrap up my hair again with my towel so that's going to dry a bit faster. Then I'm going to continue with what I just told you. So that's basically how I wash my hair. Home. I don't know if I'm watching you guys. I can't really see. Anyway, but that's how I wash my hair at home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section, and I'll attend to those immediately. I see them. And like I said, I'm three weeks and some points in, so I wonder. I I want to leave the basin for at least six weeks before I take it down. So. 
just an update okay so that's about it and i'll see you in my next video be sure to subscribe don't forget to comment and like this video so that i know that you guys enjoy content like this all the struggles i know it's not for <laughs> it's not for nothing that i can make more content like this as always and i'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye